Good evening, Lake Orion. Happy summer, everybody. You know what? By this time, it'll be the first few weeks of summer. I'm your host, and I am between Tamina. Well, I'm a Tamina. Okay. I'm no, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. This is Between Terminas here on ONTV. Wrong camera. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now you're in the right camera. Yeah, I was in the. Yeah, okay. So, all right, gentlemen, how are we doing? Good. Good. Are you sure, Ian? Not sure. Yeah, you don't. He, you don't seem too sure. Ah, uh, it's this uh, seasonal allergy. I a got. lot of pollen. There's a lot well, of. Pollen. I mean, my voice is raspy. We I just won't got. Lie we that. just got off. We just got off a we, drought. We just got off a, of, of a drought. We got done with school. I mean. I hey, I got a county championship summer. track and field. You can mention that. No one cares. Kevin. You got no. your mom. No, I got my second title. That's, that's an insult. Definitely, that's definitely a very exciting moment. That's an insult. Sammy, share with share with the viewers about the county championship at Scripps. Well, you know, my um, middle school girls took second place in the team. Oh, you watch oh, your mouth. Excuse me. Okay, so anyway, um, anyway. Um, How far did she throw? 35-6, you know what I mean? And what's the county record? 3710 by my other throw my other girl this year Emily she has you know. the she has your school record yep she has my school record mm -hmm. and my other girl took home the county title so yeah. congratulations to my kids you know giving my second county title as a coach also congratulations to your girls track team on finishing second place in the county yes overall. yes overall yes. overall team. overall, mm -hmm. overall yes mm -hmm. all right so let's talk about the tigers um, do we have to they are the eyes of the baseball team. Go get them, Tigers. I think they you haven't check been the lyrics. same since Riley Green got hurt and he's killed my fantasy baseball team. There go the eyes of the baseball team. Making mistakes. Go get them. Detroit Tigers. Go get them, Tigers. Ian, what do you have to say? <sighs> what can you say? What can you say about a team this bad? <laughs> They're bad. <laughs> if they played the Oakland A's, they'd get beat. And the Oakland A's have about 17 wins. Are you guys blaming Taylor Swift's concert for why the Tigers are struggling? No. <laughs> no. I think he is. I think he is. I'm no. Not. I'm not blaming Taylor Swift for this at all. But I am blaming the fact that when Riley Green got hurt, Ty that was it. You know what you I mean? Know you more know more fans I... win the Taylor Swift concert than the Tigers game. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and that was scary. There's about 10 fans at the Tigers game. That's not Oakland Athletics type of situation. You know that, right? Have you heard we'll of that We'll go over situation? that in a second. I Let's talk Tigers yeah. first. Looks like you're wearing your Oakland A's shirt today. Well, you know, you miss Coco Chris, don't you, when he went like this all the time? I do got... not miss Coco Chris. Yes, you do. No. Yes, you do. No. Yes, you do. All right. So no. the, the Tigers are, already over. So the Tigers are struggling. Aren't they fourth in the division right now? Yes. I think they were second. Yeah. They used to be Before second. Before they lost 10 in a row. Then they, yeah, lost they lost 10 in a row. Nine in a row, whatever. Well, I mean, they did lose to Atlanta earlier today, and they are losing right now. Thank you for that update. Yes, not a problem. So, def so what's going on with the Tigers? What do you think it is? They have bad players. Bad pitching. Bad, all bad players. And I have a bold prediction. I don't think A.J. Hinch is coming back. You think? I you think, think he's going to, no, I think he's going to quit or get out of here somehow. I think he's quitting. If it keeps going on like this, I think it's going to get real bad. It's going to get bad. It's already been bad. It has been bad. There might be hope on the pitching horizon. Yeah. Scoobal can be coming, coming back. back. Manning, perhaps. Yeah. All right, Eduardo you think, Rodriguez. You think Tiger fans are calling for AJ Hinch to be fired? Or no, 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 not at all. But I think he is somebody that is desirable to other teams, and uh, it's his third year, right? And mm -hmm. if they can't get it together, where they're going to threaten to win 70, 75 ball games, show some progress. 
Yeah, it's know? not like the AL Central is a competitive division. It's not. It's not. It's not, but it's not like the Tigers are a competitive team. Could we be looking at levels of 2003 levels with the Tigers? I would say that was last year, um, but they're trending that way again in this losing streak. Their offense is, that's for sure. Um, and there doesn't seem to be any help on the horizon with the offense. Well, and especially when you look at that farm system, which farm system is still not good. There's nothing there. Nothing there. There's one guy in Double A that fans have been clamoring for, Colt Keith. So you but he's had 50 about, games but you at Double A. About, you got to think about obviously now with this new administration. Yeah. Al Vila did was a complete disaster for that franchise. I'm aware. Um, yeah, I know you're well aware. Um, but when you look at the Tigers, there is a reason why I call them a daycare center. And it's perfect. This is the perfect example. Al Vila made it into a daycare center, and the daycare center is still there. And this is why... Are they trying to fix the mess that Al Vila did, or is it... But also, I don't know what they're trying to do. But also, before I was totally interrupted, um, but I'm just telling you is... The Tigers are a daycare center, and if you're a Detroit fan, you want to sell, you want to sell to some of the other teams. Feel free to do it because look what I've done, and I haven't regretted it. You have regretted it. Have not regretted it. Who's your favorite ball team then? My Texas, Texas Rangers, Boston Red Sox. So you, you're so, a bandwagon you're fan. I am not <laughs> a bandwagon guy. So were you a Texas Ranger <laughs> fan last year yes. when they lost 100 games? Sadly, yes. Oh boy. And I was a Boston Red Sox fan. Sadly, yes, I took, I took, I had to take my medicine. Well, they don't look so hot this year either. No, and I know who to blame for all that. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Raphael Devers? Nope. Some girls basketball coach in Lake Orion, Michigan. Oh. Who's had two district championships. He probably has a lot to do with it. Yeah, he does. Hmm. Uh, you going to say that name? No. Okay. So, let's, switching gears, talk about the Oakland Athletics. Did you see the... Did you see the um, reverse boycott last <laughs> night? Uh, did you see the reverse boycott with the fans not wanting, not wanting the athletics to leave Oakland to go to Las Vegas? What do you think about that? Sammy, you first that is. <laughs> They're going to leave Oakland. I mean, like I'm telling you this. It's because, uh, you know, Vegas just approved a $380 million project for, their, for a new stadium. I mean, like, in Vegas. So... You're telling me that, you know, Oak, I mean, like, the Athletics are going to want to go there? You know what I mean? Like, um, to Vegas? I mean, like, I'm sorry. I mean, like, they didn't make a deal at Oakland. You know what I mean? They didn't make a deal at the Coliseum. I mean, like, I'm telling you, they can do it all they want, but the Athletics, they're going to Vegas. Sorry. Ian, what do you think? They are, and it's sad. I mean, I think there should be a baseball team in Las Vegas. I don't think it should be a relocation necessarily. Maybe if Tampa wants to relocate. Um, it's tough though with Oakland. I don't think that'd be popular with Tampa fans. What Tampa fans? Tampa doesn't have a lot of fans. Tampa does not have a lot of fans. Well, I can't say that to a good friend of ours who's an old Sixer. I would don't say, say that to Nicole. <laughs> no. I would say Oakland has a more obviously more more of a history mm -hmm. as, a, as a as a club. Um, they were it was 1968 when they when joined. They to, when they went to when they. Because it was at first it was the Philadelphia Athletics, mm -hmm. and then in then they moved to Kansas City, and then they moved to Oakland. Mm -hmm. And um, so there is history with the Athletics in Oakland. It's a tough thing there because you have the Bay Area, which is dominated by San Fran, mm -hmm. and Oakland's kind of like the, you know, forgotten, the stepchild between the the Dodgers and the Giants. Kind of. Kind of, but definitely from the Giants, yes. Um, but the, the thing with Oakland too. is they they never have a payroll. They play in a dump of a stadium, and they still find ways to field a ball team. So it's a shame that organizations like that, not the owner, but the people running the show, um, and the fans, it's a shame that they are the ones that are screwed. You heard, you heard, you saw the interviews. What did you think about those? Which interviews? With the fans? With the fans. I thought the reverse boycott was a good idea, to be honest. Do you think it's going to persuade anybody? No. No. No, because money talks. For, for billionaires 
anytime they can get a free handout, like a stadium deal from public money, they're going to be gone. Oakland's not going to give them money for their new ballpark. Vegas will. See you later, Oakland. See you later. It's what the Raiders athletics. did. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's what the Rams did yep. in from St. Louis to L.A. It's uh, it's it's a it's an unfortunate situation. Hey. I have a love hate relationship with the, the Oakland days. You know, I hate them when the t when they're good and the Tigers have to deal with them because it's it's a hard place they to had play. They really good rivalries too. They did, but I respect them and their passion. And like I said, you know, the the origination of Moneyball and uh, finding ways to win non traditionally. So, any final thoughts on both subjects? Tigers, they're a daycare center. They're done for. I've been telling this for months now. They were done for. You know what? I know what the whole world knows it. And for Oakland, you know what I mean? It's really sad for the really sad for the athletics to leave. But, you know, money talks, man. I mean, that's what happens. Ian, any final thoughts? I wish somebody would pay Chris Illich to go to Vegas and leave. Leave the Tigers, and he can leave. That's my final thought. We'll be right back with Between Tiraminas on ONTV. The Friends of the Orion Township Library are looking for book donations and volunteers for their next gently used book sale. With the goal of promoting reading, literacy, and lifelong learning, the nonprofit organization began in 1985 and is the liaison between the community and its library. All but a fraction of the money raised by the Friends is donated for program funding, material, and monetary contribution for the library. If you are interested in learning more, please visit orionlibrary.org slash friends. Welcome back. To, welcome back to Between Terminas here on ONTV. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Slightly worse than before. Yes, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll actually have a good topic that will cheer you guys up. We're going to talk Pistons a little bit. <laughs> they made a... But there's, there may be some good news on the horizon. They hired in a new coach, Monty Williams, who used to coach the Phoenix Suns. Very good coach, an older coach, um, but also a very well-respected coach. Um, gentlemen, let's get your thoughts. Uh, let's start with Sammy first. I absolutely love the move to hire Monty Williams. Paying that ridiculous amount of money, but I also think it was worth it, you know what I mean, considering when you look at the contract, you know what I mean, what it was for. Obviously, the decision that Monty Williams made to come to Detroit, I mean, obviously, you know, you know, his wife was battling breast cancer. Is um, battling cancer, yeah. Battling cancer. Um, you know, that, you know, to give him a charter flight back, you know what I mean, it, back and forth. It's great that, um, you know, that they put that provision in there. Um, but also during the press conference, I noticed that, um, you know, that 12, uh, almost everybody on the roster was there. And what Monty Williams said during the text, I mean, when he texted the players that, they got to him right away, and that's very rare in the NBA, you know, because mm -hmm. you see players that are just like, you know, that, you know, they'll get back to you on their own time. But when the players are doing that, you know, getting 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 to him right away, that says something right there. They want to play for this. They want to play for Coach Monty Williams. And the fact that he has to kick players out of the gym, you know what I mean, because, they, because they, all, he, all this team that has is a bunch of gym rats there, that's a good thing. You know what I mean, like if he has to do that. But – you know, but when you look at it here, I think it's a great hire to hire Monty Williams um, if you're the Pistons, you know. I mean, like, I, I feel like when you look at the Pistons now, you know, with a healthy K Cunningham, a, um, you got um, Jay Nivey, whatever they get in the fifth pick in the draft, um, I still would like for them to maybe go after maybe another, another shooter. I think it would make good sense for them. But I kind of feel a lot more better about this franchise now than I did – you know, like a couple weeks ago when they when they were just absolute complete trash, and they still are, but but they're getting there because of Tom Gorris. I don't like that. Ian, what do you think? Similar to my feelings towards the A's is how I feel about Tom Gorris because he has never shied away from spending a lot of money on the team outside of relocating into the city. That was disastrous. Say what you will about it, but that's whatever. It was the move of the moment. You know, I'm not happy they tore down the palace either. I'm not either. But they got Stan Van Gundy because they thought, okay, this guy, whatever. They thought he was the best available guy. They got him. They got Dwayne Casey coming off the Coach of the Year win. 
they've they've never hesitated to to get their guy. Um, now the guys they've gotten have turned out to not be the right choice, um, but I appreciate his willingness. I guess. Let's hope he finally got it right with Monty Williams. Um, my problem with them still is they still have a lot of cooks in the kitchen, if you will. You know, they got Troy Weaver who's going to run the basketball operations, but then they still have Arn Tellum. And they got who, whatever lackeys are under him. Um, so I hope this kind of unifies the brain trust as it's Weaver and it's Monty Williams. Those are the guys that are going to run our team. And they will delegate to the other people what's going on. Um, now with that, they need they need a forward. You know, they need a power forward. They need a power forward. Desperately. They need to make some type of splash. They're going to have cap room. They don't the fifth pick is not that great of an asset in this draft. Um, but they need to get creative to do something to make I think another splash. Does it help with Monty Williams as well respected as he is in the NBA? Will that help in any way? I think that helps, but part of the problem still with the Pistons is this is not the 04 Pistons mm -mm, where no. they could go and they could get an Antonio McDice to to keep, you know, to go back and do go to the finals again in 05. Mm -hmm. This is a team that is completely unproven, super young, and it's in Detroit. Let's face it. It's not LA, it's not Miami. Um so it, it's still an uphill battle, uh, but they, they got the right guy, hopefully, to develop their young guards. They need to somehow swing a trade to get a forward in here because one is not going to sign willingly, I don't think. Um, but hopefully you get a guy in the door and y you help him fall in love with the team and the organization. And, and the city? They have to win. They have to win. Can the Pistons compete in the division? Or in the East? Can the Pistons compete in the East in their division? If they can get into the playing tournament next year, maybe because I know Dwayne Casey's for I'm sorry, and um, and uh, Monty Williams' first year with the Phoenix Suns, they won 17 games, but he turned that team around, won 34 games out of that group. So it can be done. It's just can they be a team that gets in the playing tournament? I think they got a shot at it, but. The, I mean, like, and then if you play in the playing tournament, anything can happen there. But I mean, because you got quality teams in there. You got like the the Bucks, the Nets, Milwaukee. We don't know what they're gonna have. The have Bulls, yet, especially with the coaching situation um, there. Don't forget the Cavaliers. Cavs are solid. Boston. We don't know Boston, what's gonna happen with their the with their stars, but um, they could run it back again. The Heat, obviously. Yep. Miami. Uh, I mean, you know, the East is very is a pretty competitive conference. It is. It is. It is. I, I, I like the youth, and I like what you mentioned. We have gym rats. These mm -hmm. are guys that want to work. Jalen Duren is still, I mean, is he even 20? Mm -hmm. He's 20, I think. Um, but they they got to have a bona fide dude, you know what I mean, to help mm -hmm. kind of complete the picture. Do they need to have a mentor guard, or do they need to have like a... I think maybe that's more Monty Williams. I don't think they need to bring in a Chris Paul or somebody like that uh, to take away playing time from the young guys um, because m that's Monty Williams' track record is developing the guards. So, mm -hmm. Shooting and forwards for me. Yeah, shooting and forwards, definitely. Hopefully they could be one and the same. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, like, but, you know, it's unfortunate they get the number one pick in the draft, unfortunately. Well, surprise, surprise, right? Yeah. San, Antonio San Antonio got the number got one pick. Um, let's talk about the Denver Nuggets. They won the NBA championship, their first NBA championship, I do believe. Um, they were the most dominant team in the NBA this season. Thoughts? You know, Jokic, is, he's the real deal. I the mean, Joker. Like the Joker. He is the real deal. I mean, now people are going to question Denver's path, obviously. Um, they beat Minnesota. They knocked off Golden State. Knocked now off. the big win, the big series went to Golden State, yeah. and then big series went to the Lakers. They swept the Lakers. I mean, like obviously, but I I'm, I'm not selling the Lakers. Sorry, um, but but um, and then they knocked off the Miami Heat. Now Miami had an incredible run. I mean, they shocked um, they shocked some people. I mean, they shocked Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. They shocked them. They took down the Knicks. They took down Boston. I mean, Boston like, almost came back and won. Boston that series. almost came back and won that series. But um, but they were the number one seed. Yeah, and still, I mean, like. 
but still, I mean, they got to get credit where credit's due. I mean, Miami's run, you know, I think they were they were in the playing tournament and they got they got in the playing tournament. They made a lot of noise, you know. They got the NBA Finals. That says a lot about Coach Eric Spoelstra's team, mm-hmm. but also a lot of it. Jimmy Butler, obviously. What about Udonis Haslam? He's been, he's still, he, he, I think he's retiring this year. He's still there. I mean, like, he was, he, he he's was, over he's, 40, isn't he? Over 40, yeah. Mm, I, I mean, no doubt he's, no doubt that's your next Miami Heat legend. Yeah. He mm-hmm. better have his number retired up there. Mm, Cause I mean, when you look he, at tenure and look at how long he's been in the league, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. He's going to have his number retired up he there. He deserves in Miami, it. Yeah. He deserves I it. I think Dwayne Wade's. Yeah, retired. Retired. I think Shaq's, Shaq's is out is. there. Alonzo yeah, Mornings is. is um, yeah, I mean, you know, Pat Riley's done a really good job with the development of the Miami Heat, and also Eric Spolster. You have to give him credit. He's coached a lot of. He's coached a lot of what I would say players that have very strong ingrained habits. I mean, you can't forget he did coach LeBron. He did coach Dwayne Wade. He did coach um, Chris Bosh when they were all together, and then he also coached. Um, he also coached like Jimmy Butler too, right? And but a lot I different mean, type of teams. Oh uh, yeah, very different type of teams. And um, give he's, him props. I too. credit him. He long jody has been there. My goodness. But for Denver, it's like he, Greg Popovich in San Antonio. But for Denver, obviously, I think is it Coach Malone is the, is the name. He used to be at Oakland. I yeah, believe. Michael Malone. Yeah, Michael right. Malone. He used to be right. at Oakland as an assistant. I mean, like yep. that kind of says a lot. You know what I mean? Like obviously where he's been. Um, but still, I mean, like you know, for Denver. They got some players. I mean, like they're deep. They're deep they're too. Deep. You know, it's been a really good year for Stan Kroenke. Obviously, you know sure. what he's done. L.A. Rams Super Bowl. He's won a Stanley Cup with, with Year Avalanche. Yep. And with then, the of course, now you had the NBA title with them, um, an NBA title now. With so the Nuggets. Great year for. It's been it's been really good recently for Coach for um for Stan, Stan Kroenke. Kroenke. Yep. Yep. That and he owns a nice stadium right by LAX. That helps too, eh? It does help that, yeah. He's, he's doing okay for himself. So, any final thoughts on both the Pistons and the Nuggets? I think there's some hope with the Pistons. I think if Monty Williams, I mean, the teal's not bad. I feel Monty Williams. I feel Monty Williams is the right guy for this job. I think he's going to get the Pistons. I I think back to. It wouldn't surprise me at the Pistons if I see in the next maybe three four years that this team could, they could surprise some people. I mean, they could. It's on Troy Weaver now. I it think. Is. That he's, is. he's he's been hit and miss. He's drafted pretty decently, but the guys he's brought in via trade or you know free acquisition, free agency is the key. Yeah, free agency is the key good. for the Pistons. So he's on the clock now in my yep. mind. Free agency is the key. All right, we'll be right back with between Tiramina's on ON TV. Have you ever thought of producing your own podcast? ON TV offers the facilities, equipment, and training to help you get your own podcast off the ground. Learn how to record your show and get it out to the world. Cost is $25 per person, which gives you access to ONTV's podcast room and equipment. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Welcome back to Between Tiraminas on ONTV. I am your host, Anthony Tiramina. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Okay. Okay. Let's right. talk about the Stanley Cup champion, Las Vegas Golden Knights. That is a sickening word to talk about. Sammy, you first. Oh, I'm just tough to say. We both agree. We're both not happy about this. I hate Vegas to a standard. I hate Vegas, what they've done. I hate Vegas as a franchise. And they're nothing more than a bunch of frauds. Because when I look at that game, especially my series against Vegas, you know, especially what they did to me in game six, game three and six, game three and six. I mean, like that, it, it just infuriated me. Also, they they're a team that goes over the they cap, over the cap, and they don't care, and they don't care. They're over the cap, and they don't care. And Gary Bettman loves them to death. So you think that's why he got a standing ovation? Yeah, he got a standing ovation. He got he got a pl- he got he didn't get the booze that every <sighs> NHL team gives him. And he and I'm trying to be really, really kind here because I can't stand Gary Bettman and I hate the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, is it Minnesota Wild like? No. But Minnesota is like all the way up here. Vegas is like right here. Okay? That's in my hated totem pole. And the Dead Wings are like right here. Even, and what about the Blues? What about my avalanche for you? This is a crowded You're totem horrible. pole. 
You're horrible. All right, Ian, what do you think? You know... Be, be nice that you don't wear the gang beaten up. I love the town of Las Vegas. And I love the theory of what the Knights have done because they were the first pro team in Las Vegas. And they've succeeded. Overwhelmingly, they've succeeded. They have great attendance, all season ticket holder-wise, and obviously, you know, a lot of... Their attendance is not the greatest. It's like... Very good. Uh, yeah, a lot of Stars fans that were there in Vegas. Yeah, there was that's a lot all right. of. That's all right. That's what uh, the town of Vegas is. It's a tourist town, so you're going to have a lot of opposing fans. Hey, just but imagine Arizona Coyotes fans. You know what I mean? When they you, when you they play the in a middle school auditorium. Yeah, yeah. It's not comparable. <laughs> Phoenix <laughs> is not Vegas. Vegas is different. And in it, well, okay. Not it's the experiment of can a pro sports team succeed here? The answer is yes. Especially, it's insane that it's hockey in the desert because, like you said, hockey ain't doing so well. You know, a few hours south in Phoenix in that desert. The Sun Belt's done really well. You look at Dallas. The Sun Del- Belt, sure. I sure. apologize for saying that I'm going to beat you up because that's all right. You that's know, all right. We're family. That's the big. I j- I understand. Yeah. I just well, think I it's give um, some sensitive someone, you know. No, no, not me. I'm not sensitive. Yeah, no, I'm just saying some some sensitive. Some would be. Yeah, some. Would be. Um, I just I think it's interesting, and I think it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the Raiders and the Athletics, and when LeBron brings a team to Las Vegas in the NBA, um, which is possible because that's a town that's just exploded the last 30 years population wise, um, and it's re- they are putting themselves on the map. They're buying teams. They're buying, they're buying business, and sports business is good in this country. I um, remember the days of Las Vegas Thunder. Remember the IHL, Sammy? Oh yeah, you very know? good. So, wow. Yeah, crazy. A little different, eh? Crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. So, but there's a lot of locals that are proud of their nights. I I'm a little peeved to say to see you know signs that say we've waited six years for this. Uh, yeah, tr- get in line here, honey. Come on up, line. come on up north where we've waited a long time and it's a lot colder and crummier here. But uh, I, I, I'm happy for them because the I'm people not, in the I'm Vegas not. Valley, they've really had no teams. They've all had to root for LA teams. Any team or that something. gives Gary Bettman a standing ovation, ugh. They'll awesome. learn one day. They're new hockey fans. They'll learn one day <laughs> what uh. to do with Gary Bettman. And you know how I felt after my series with Seattle. You know how I know how Seattle felt with their series with Dallas. I know how Dallas felt after their series with, with Vegas. I know how Minnesota felt with their series with Dallas. I mean, it's like everyone does not like Batman, but then we see Batman getting a, a, a either a cheer, or applause, or an ovation from Vegas fans. Like, uh, no wonder why so many don't like Vegas. I can I can understand that. I don't like. Any final thoughts on the Vegas and the Coyotes situation? Will the Coyotes relocate? They should. Their vote. Their vote. Where they I think g- they're gonna. I think they will relocate, and I think. And I think I know where they're going. Where Where were they Houston? from? No. Were they from Winnipeg? Winnipeg, and they went to Phoenix. Are they gonna go? Where? I are think. They go back I think to Quebec Canada? Canada. Quebec is a possibility, but also maybe Kansas City. Kansas City could be a good fit. Two good options. I I, I would say good. Quebec, obviously. Quebec but. could be good. Yeah. That, Maybe a reunite that rivalry with the Avalanche. Who knows? A little different in Canada, though. A little with the, bit uh, different. But I could see, but I could see Kansas City being a good place. What about Houston? Give the Stars an immediate challenge. No, <laughs> you don't want to. I don't want to see them in Houston. You don't want to see them. No, I no, think maybe no, Houston. no. It's Bob a, would love it's it. It's a, it's a much bigger city. I think they could. No, no, no to Houston. <laughs> Love to find out. This state's big enough for only one hockey team. This stage for one hockey team in Texas. That's in Dallas. What about El Paso? No. That'd be cool. All right, so. What about Texarkana? Don't start. All right, so this will conclude What about the Waco no, Coyotes? No. 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 No.